Hi folks, good day from Ireland, Jonathan Powers my name. Today I'm going to be talking about how to set up WordPress on managed hosting a VPS server at Cloudways. It's great value, you can get started for only $11 a month and support is excellent so it's a really brilliant uh, package. Much better than shared hosting for a variety of reasons, speed, everything that matters. So to get started you want to go to cloudways.com and go over here and you can start free i think it's a two-day trial at the moment so i'll put all the links and information to all this in the comments underneath the video for you to check out so once you have everything set up there and your account created you want to log in i already have a server here so i'm going to set up a new server which you will have to do and we'll select an application Generally what guys are doing at the moment I see there in the Facebook groups and stuff are setting up the clean no cloudways optimization uh, version of WordPress. If you're going to be putting a WooCommerce uh, shopping cart plugin into your version of WordPress it's advised to select a WooCommerce version because it's set up for the it's configured for the cache on the server for URLs to exclude some of the URLs and cookies for, for the varnish rules. So it will save you a lot of hassle in the long run if you know that you're going to be using WooCommerce to select that. Because if you don't, you'll have to configure the varnish rules later on. So for I'm going to be using WooCommerce later on, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to name my app now. We'll call it uh, we'll call it WordPress uh, testing demo, and we want to name our server. Just call it a testing demo for this, and then you want to create and select a project. And so when we've all that done, you want to select your server now. So you want to select the different servers have different companies that are providing the servers. They have a wide range of locations available for some and others are quite limited. If you go over to, and the price varies considerably as well on the packages. Like if you go to Google Cloud Platform and the locations are the huge they they're the only company that are actually uh are actually in in Ireland. I th I saw one for Ireland there later. Wasn't it on oh no sorry it was on Amazon. Amazon are the only company that are actually doing Ireland for a location but the price will come up here like so it's a uh, 36.39 a month to get started you're getting two gigabyte database that's large like uh, your web files and everything your bandwidth your server size there's a, an awful lot of different configuration options with with aws is often referred to amazon web services that the best value at the moment and i see the most popular is a uh, volt volter and we're going to select a one gigabyte server to get started and we have our locations here so we want to select a location where most of our clients will be viewing our website for speed optimization so we'll pick london there and you can see now that it's way cheaper than some of the other packages it's only 11 dollars a month which is 10 euros so if you look at some of the other big companies providing shared hosting that some of them are nearly uh, they'll run a promotion for a couple of months and then you'll be nearly paying the same as this for shared hosting and so you're getting a really superior service here for for not much extra money what's our storage on this uh, server size and there our location Older, just let me check that now. One gigabyte and everything. I think our storage on this is 20 gig. I'll just check that now. 
if I go to if I go back to pricing on the front page here of Cloudrace, we go to pricing. You can compare them here. Where is it now? Here we are. You see, it's giving me the hourly price there, so I want mon monthly price. Just change that over. So you can get started there with DigitalOcean for it's considered a testing server more than anything. You can upgrade it later on, but the only thing is only certain companies will allow you to downgrade servers. So you want to be you want to be aware of that. You can of course you can of course if you want to downgrade the server, you can clone it to another server, a smaller one, and then delete the original one. So like I was saying there, the best entry value at the moment is Linode they're giving you 20 gig storage a one core processor one gig of ram for 12 dollars and vulture vulture is and it gives you all the locations here of course as i mentioned earlier as well with a uh, folder you can get started for a little bit more storage isn't it than linode isn't it 20 yeah 20 yeah much less locations with linode vulture have way more there we have, yeah, I think they're one of the few that are given a server in Sydney as well at the moment, one of the guys was saying there, and uh, but it's changing all the time, so make sure and check for yourself. Of course, you have your f free uh, SSL uh, certificates, you know, you can un uh, install unlimited amount of uh, apps on your server as well, but of course, when you get to, you're not gonna go crazy, like putting a load of stuff on it because It'd be pointless. You'll you'll kill the server. It won't be able to run all the apps, you know. But um, I've seen guys there with ten small uh, websites on a one gigabyte server, no problem. Like tiny sites with not much traffic, you know. And of course, you can monitor your server in the admin area as well. I'll just take a look at that now when I've mentioned it. So. As I said, they're one gig of RAM, 25 storage. It's the best value, 11 uh, US dollars a month, 10 euros. So just go back there. So we want to go over here now. We're going to launch our Vulture server. Now this is going to take, uh, we can see here, it's going to take uh, 13 minutes. So I'll just pause this video. So when our application is installed and our server is set up, so we want to, if we click here, we'll get a list of our applications. If we click servers here, we'll get a list of our servers. So we set up testing demo and we want to get the public IP to point our domain to our application. So that's copied now. So I want to go into domain manager in GoDaddy I'm using. So I've clicked into manage uh, DNS settings in GoDaddy and I want to change the A record at the top to, I want to point it to my server IP and click save. And I want to set up another A record with host www points to the same server IP and I'll save that. So the domain there is wptog.com that I've changed the, the A records for. So it can take up to 24 hours for the domain to propagate, it's called, to point its way from GoDaddy to your server that you've set up. So to check where uh, the domain is, if it has propagated yet, that we can go to a website called whatsmydns.net, paste in our domain, wptod.com, it's a record there, and we we'll search, and it's given us the green arrows there to say that it's propagated. So we'll go back into Cloudways. We'll go to 
our servers are there that we set up. We'll go into applications. You remember that we called our application a WordPress testing demo. So to set up the domain for the application, we go into domain management and we'll copy and paste our domain. Oh, missing a www.wptalk.com. We, so we're in domain management and our, we're setting our primary domain and we want to click save for that and that's just going to take a couple of minutes there so i'll just pause the video so we've set up our server and we've set up our domain here so the next thing we want to do is set up our ssl uh, security certificate for our domain and our application so we'll put in our email address And we want to put in our domain name www.wptod.com click add domain because we want to put in two versions of our domain name we want to put in the www version and the naked version without the prefix of the www dot and so we'll just click install certificate and this is going to take a couple of minutes so i'll just pause the video again so our ssl certificate has installed now so all we had to have to do now is to access our installation of wordpress on the server we got access details under application management there and we can see that our domain has been installed and to access the admin panel we just go down here click this and we can see our email address is there and our password is put in or our there's the username to put in and there's your password that you put in to log in so we've logged in now but i can see that the domain name is not secure it's a uh, no padlock coming up so that's just because it's not set up correctly here in the admin for the url if we go down here this should be https and the site address here so we just want to resave that and we'll have to log back in and we can see now that our site is secure so just go back to our dashboard there uh, if we want to visit the front end of our site of course we just hover over the url there and it says visit site the reason it says visit store as well because it's an installation of woocommerce but there's no products in it yet it's not set up yet so it's not going to be doing very much but there's the front end of our website with just a standard installation we haven't installed any themes or plugins but we're ready to start configuring it and building it now so I've covered all the basics there to get us uh, started to see what plugins are installed you go there we can see Breeze is there hello Dolly WooCommerce for our shop ask him at anti spam spam these all have to be configured later for our different themes we go there and there's our standard different themes that come with your standard installation so I hope you enjoyed the video folks there you have everything to get started uh, please subscribe to the channel for more wordpress tutorials thanks very much bye for now